Prada project started uh, more than 40 years, uh, four decades back. And initially it was more of an industrial EPC companies. We diversified starting, I think about seven, eight years back or so, getting into segments like uh, buildings or bridges, metros, road, rail, uh, water, etc. So that has been our journey and uh, I think it has been uh, a good run. Uh, we are pretty excited with uh, the projects uh, that we are doing and the customers that we are working on and I think look forward to doing it more. Adding life to your big ambitions, Ultratech, India's number one cement. Today our order book would be about between 50 to 60,000 odd crores. This year we expect our revenue to be probably around uh, 14,000 odd crores plus or so. And it's a well diversified uh, order book. It's uh, multiple segments that we are operating and it's spread across all. We are we're doing refinery jobs in Bamir. We are doing uh, lots of metro projects across different cities, uh, whether Chennai, Pune, Bombay. We have completed in the past Delhi, Lucknow. We are doing the Navashiva Sivri link in uh, Mumbai. We are doing lots of new age uh, jobs. We have, so we are doing data centers. We are doing a lot of these factories that are coming in under the PLI scheme. So uh, we, we see a good uh, capex cycle in India, both infrastructure as well as the industrial capacity that is being created by uh, Government of India through its scheme. And uh, we see a good opportunity here uh, uh, in India. Our tagline is simplify.create. So which essentially means that from a small project to a large project, we try to break them into smaller components using technology so that it can become more predictive. We can plan it, we can execute it and it becomes more process oriented. It is our belief and our, our credo that we want to be at the forefront of technology here. Revenue leadership is not an aspiration, uh, technology leadership is. The biggest challenge in this industry is uh, the working capital. So the raw material in this industry is not cement or steel, it's actually cash, the liquidity. Typical working capital is about 40% over revenue, let's say, right? Uh, in this industry, the working capital is 80 to 100%. So, which means that uh, almost the entire year of your revenue is trapped in your uh, current asset. And for companies uh, like us, we're growing pretty rapidly over the last seven, eight years where you've been growing at uh, 30, 40, 50% or so. The more you grow, the more working capital your uh, balance sheet demands. So that is a big challenge. So game plan is uh, pretty clear, uh, quality over quantity. Projects which are good to execute, which are uh, paying on time, uh, which have good margins and where we can uh, adopt technology to deliver them on or before time. So our company has uh, come a long way from uh, let's say about two to three thousand uh, crore revenue uh, probably a decade back to uh, where we are now uh, and in that process a lot of partners have joined us in, in helping us uh, deliver it be it employees, be it uh, suppliers, be it uh, uh, contractors and it's with that that we have been able to achieve this. So uh, I look forward to the regular publication which lands at my desk from Construction World and it tells a lot about how the industry is emerging, the, the technology, the different uh, companies and the processes that uh, they are adopting.